In this class, we are going to learn how to make use of this Q query parameter while using Oracle Fusion Cloud REST APIs. For demonstration purpose, I am using Get All Suppliers Oracle Fusion Cloud Procurement REST API. In our previous class, we had seen how to make use of this Q parameter and check for the values and filter the results of the API accordingly. Wherein we had put the condition like we were fetching the details of a supplier whose supplier name is LE Supplies and whose sites that is supplier site ID is this one. This is optional, we can expand or not. Irrespective of we expand or not, we will be able to put the condition on the child resource. In detail, we had explained in our previous class. Now, suppose I will remove everything from here and click on send request. Now, what if we want to see the details of a supplier? whose supplier name is either Lee Supplies or it could be one among other. That is, it could be JCA as well. Sorry, JGA as well. Now, how to do that same? So, for that, what we can do is, one of the thing is, we can make over here the Lee Supplies 1 and here we can make as not equal to. Here, what will happen is, we will see all the details of the supplier whose name is not Lee Supplies 1. Or we can just tell Lee Supplies we will not see the details of lease supplies, rather we will see all the suppliers whose name doesn't start with lease supplies. So this is one of the methods. Other method is using the in clause. So we can write in and here we can mention in the details like we want to see the supplier whose name is either lease supplies or we can tell J, J, D, A. So like this and we can click on send. So if we mention the in clause and we tell our Fusion REST API will check for the supplier whose name is JGA and whose supplier name is either we supplies. So at the end we will see count as two. So we are getting two supplier records. Suppose we tell whose supplier name is Lee Supplies and JGA1 and click on send. So it will find all the fusion supplier whose name matches this condition. So the moment it sees there are no suppliers with the name JGA, then we will get only one count over here that is for the supplier these supplies. So like this we can make use of in clause. Now one more point to consider over here is suppose you are writing this in clause and hitting on this send button you might encounter that no records are being fetched like this. Let me just demonstrate you see like something like this. As we had seen in our previous class that is in order to make use of such in clause and uh, to drill down to the child resources we have to make use of this header parameter that is rest framework version 1. So that is this one. Under the headers, you can write REST hyphen framework version 4. So 4 is the least version which we can use in order to make use of those clauses in REST API. That is in clause, putting the condition on the child resource and so forth things. So in detail, description about the REST framework version is provided in this documentation. Currently, at the time of recording this class, 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 9 versions are supported by Fusion. So in future, there could be many more. So with each version, Oracle will be adding few of the enhancements so that you can filter the data using the REST API. So for more details, you can have a look at this documentation. So like this, making use of in clause and not equal to, we can filter the REST API response very efficiently.